Hi, this is Nayla Latrice. I am here to give you um, a read that is some spirit messages or that are messages from spirit. <laughs> I'm not going to re-record this video. So, y'all yeah, get all the, the bloopers and errors. <laughs> all right, let's see what messages spirit has for you. What does spirit want you to know? What messages do you have for whoever's watching? What messages do you have for whoever's watching? Okay. <laughs> First up we have is the Two of Cups here. And then right after that, we have the Sun card. This is absolutely beautiful, amazing, gorgeous energy to start with. I absolutely love it. There is a partnership that is on the horizon for you. So I feel like this is new love that is here. Only new energy that is here. But it's on the horizon. I'm hearing continue doing what you're doing because you're literally about to run into your partner. You're about to meet your partner. You know how the sun is coming up? It's like your partner is coming up. Your partner is getting ready to come towards you. Mm -hmm. This is an equal partner. This is kind of, I feel like you're shy or they're shy. You guys are both kind of, you guys really aren't shy, but you you guys make each other feel this way. This is very, and this is up on meeting. It's almost like you guys just feel it immediately. It doesn't mean you guys rush or anything, but you guys feel it. Like, okay, I know I'm feeling something in front of you. Are you feeling just me? Okay, my bad, let me. <laughs> That's kind of what it's like. You know, you don't want to seem crazy or sound crazy or feel like you're crazy because of the connection that you feel once you meet this person, once they approach you, however it happens. I'm here in a coffee shop. So some of you guys may actually meet somebody at a coffee shop or like on a coffee run. There's a lot of warm energy. This person that's coming into your life, I feel like they're very kind-hearted. They're very warm. They're very gentle. They're very genuine. They're very childlike as well. They love to have fun. They like to surprise. They're a jokester. They like to joke. They like to party, but not party like in the get wasted and not that type of way they just like to have fun they like to go out they like to be by the water i feel as well um they like to be out in the sun and i feel like you you like a lot of these different things as well things are balancing out for you um in your love life and your financial life just overall i feel like you're transitioning out of a um out of maybe like a dark soul of the night type of energy or just like dealing with a lot of karmics but you you definitely leveled up and you've learned the necessary lessons you've needed to learn which is why you're able to receive this type of um this type of connection is coming towards you. Thumbs up this video if it's resonating with you so far. This is very beautiful energy. Spirit, what other messages do you have? We have the nine of wands. I feel like this is going to catch you off guard. You are not expecting this to happen. <laughs> and then we have the full at the bottom of the deck. I'll get to this in a second. Do you see? I keep hitting my arm. Do you see how he, how he's looking? He's wounded. He got all his sticks. He got one in his hand ready to throw, strike, whatever uh, he needs to do. Because he's been through so many hardships, trials, tribulations, karmic relationships, people hurting him, stabbed in the back, whatever. But look, he made it through to here. I just saw 404. That is stability. You are on stable ground. You yourself as a person, as an individual is stable. You've recognized within yourself. Look at everything I've been through. Look at all that I have been through. And I'm still here standing. And so anybody that approaches you at this point, you looking at them with this side, I like, what? What you want? You want some of Debo too? Because I'm ready. <laughs> That's how you looking. But I feel as soon as you meet this person, you're just going to put your guard down. You're going to throw those sticks down. Like, what sticks? <laughs> You're not going to forget what you've been through or what, you know, uh, anything like that. You know, you're still going to have your guard up, but you're also... Um, you're going to know that it's safe. You're going to feel the ease of being able to finally put your guard down, even if this is happening over time. Spirit is advising you to say yes. Spirit is advising you to say, you know what? F it. 
Let me just go on the sleep of faith. Let me just jump off this cliff. Let me just see where life takes me. If I take this route with this person, it's like literally a world when this is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Do you see that rose right there? I feel like it just pops up out of nowhere. And I feel like it, that's what's going to happen to you. It's just going to surprise you and catch you off guard. Spirit, what other messages do you have? So the messages that Spirit wants you to know is that it's okay. It's a big yes. It's okay. Don't be guarded. Look at this. We have the Queen of Wands here. I feel like you are doing really happy by yourself, but you don't want to be by yourself. I feel like with this Queen of Wands here, you are very, very um, sexy. You're very gorgeous. You're very talented. You're rich or you have a rich mindset. You like plants or planting things with these sunflowers here. I feel like some of you guys are also sculptors or you like to sculpt or you guys, you, somebody likes to use their hands. Yeah, look at this. We have the seven of swords down here. Somebody is sneaky. This is something that's going to sneak up on you is what I'm trying to say. There's no sneaky energy here. This is saying that this is going to catch you off, off guard. It's almost like you're trying to get away with not... How can I say this into words properly, spirit? It's almost like this is you deceiving yourself, trying to run away from love. Even though deep down inside you really want love, you're afraid of getting hurt. So you want love. But it's also like you're deceiving yourself and you're tricking yourself and you're running away. Like, eh, ah, nope. But love still finds you. It just sneaks up on you. And it just catches you off guard, like I said. You're in power. You're a very powerful person. You carry yourself as a queen, a king. You know you're royalty or you accept the fact that you are royalty. Or spirit wants you to know that you are royalty. You are divine. You are part of the divine. So step into your own power. I feel like the two of wands is here, even though it's not here. Start making necessary decisions to help you love on yourself even more. The journey of loving yourself never stops. So you, there's no point of saying, well, I already love myself. Well, you can love yourself more because if you have a partner, are you just going to love your love them at the point that you met them? You got to keep loving them and growing that love. So if you're growing your love for other people, for your children, for the love of your work or anything else, you have to continue to grow the love for yourself. Because that means you stop growing. So you stop meeting other people at different levels. And you just continue to stay at the level you're at. But I feel like you're an entrepreneur. You're, you're, you're fired up about something. You're growing. You're doing a lot of growing. Mm-hmm. Spirit is telling you to step into your power. And as you step into your power, I just saw 818 as well. A lot of abundance. A lot of, um, I've been saying this in a lot of the reads. There's a lot of uh, karmic uh, cycles that are um, coming back around. Karmic being good or bad. Um, take that how it resonates with you. So whatever you've put out, um, it's going to be coming back. So if in the past, if you've sown good, it's coming back. In the past, if you've sown bad, it's coming back. And that's what's happening at this time. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. But you're reaping what you've sown. It's harvest season. Let's see. Spirit is saying, don't be so defensive. I feel some of you guys are going to kind of almost want to dismiss this person. I'm also hearing this is not this. This person is not your normal type. This is not the, the type of person that you would normally be with. We have the eight of wands and we have the devil. And then at the bottom, we have the six of wands. So this person is going to be communicating with you very soon. For some of you guys, you guys could have already met this person. And could be communicating with them already. And maybe they have not necessarily come out and said how they feel. Let me tell you. How they feel is they are very passionate about you. All of this right here, along with the sun energy, this is that, that long-term, um, like I said, the connection is going to be very, very strong. This is why that connection is strong. This is why that first day you're going to be talking about 
did, am I am I feeling this connection or is it just not necessarily saying that that's what you're gonna say out loud, but you're gonna be thinking that in your head. You may say it out loud depending on where the conversation leads. But yes, this is a very 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 connected rela connected relationship. If you and this person get together. It's going to be hard to let this person go. So be careful is what I'm going to say as well. Just make sure. Because you don't want to be hurt. Sometimes we may think it's the first person to kind of come up to us. Because like, hey, I just got this read or just heard this message. You know, and this is all just as an example. And then, you know, a week later, you go out and you meet someone. So you think that's this person that is being referred to. And it could not be the right person that the read was, was referring to. That was still part of the growth that you're in. Um, like I said, you will know. So we, when we meet people, people are cool and you have good conversations. So you may start to develop some type of connection and attachment already. If you see that they are on this similar wavelength, but it does doesn't mean just be, it, it just because people have some of the similar traits and qualities and characteristics that you share doesn't mean that there's somebody that you still need to take it further with if that makes sense so make sure that you really truly trust and know um who you are who you are connecting with and trust your instincts this is a very strong connection. This person is ready to speak to you this person is ready to tell you exactly how they feel what it is that they want from you they're ready to take it to 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 the next level with you. This is what they're wanting with you. They want it. They want it just as bad as you do. <laughs> and look, it's all good. We've seen the Ten of Cups. Everything is good. We have the Emperor here. Everything is just so good right now. This is very beautiful. Look, this is you with all of these challenging times. Didn't I say you've been through a lot? You've been through a lot of hardships. You've been through a lot of challenging times. And that's exactly what that is. And that's exactly why Spirit is saying, don't guard yourself. I feel like there's a message in here that you guys are going to be guarding somebody. Or you're going to be blocking. You're going to be very, very, very guarded to guard it. And Spirit is saying, if you really want love, you have to learn to not be guarded. And you have to learn to open up. Despite your challenging times, I also feel like your finances may not have been exactly where you wanted them to be. Um, but I do feel like that is changing for you as well. I feel like this person coming in, you guys are going to work together. It doesn't mean you can't get money on your own. But do know that um, you do have a relationship. If this is resonating with you, with the relationship that you will be receiving, it will uh, be financially stable. Okay? I see you blocking somebody. Are you standing up? Or are you protecting yourself? I feel like you have a lot of people coming towards you. Like I said, you may go out, hear this, and then a week later you hear somebody. You may need to block that person. You're going to have a lot of people that are coming towards you. And every person that comes towards you is not the one. Okay? They're not the one. So with this being the new love and you have not met them yet and you're excited and you're eager to receive this relationship, what what is the, um, the quote saying? And I can't remember who is by, but I will give you your desires. Pretty much, the the universe will give you that give you the desire that you want as soon as you give up the need for your desire. Okay, so don't go out there so like, oh yes, I'm getting ready. You know, you just be you. Just stay calm, stay chill. Um, because when you go out there like ready for and looking for it, so to speak, then that sends off signals to karmics, if that makes sense. It's like you're doing things to make people say, oh, I can get over on her or I can get over on him. Does that make sense? So if you, you know, you just uh, continue to focus on you and trust the process and don't be too eager to put yourself out there. Even though you may be excited, you may meet five people before you meet this right person, okay? And it doesn't mean me saying five people that you're going to get in this full-blown relationship. No, you just may talk to, you may meet two people in one night if you go to an event and that may, you, you may say, hey, they're both cool. And then the next week you may meet somebody else. And then the week after that or two weeks later, you may actually meet the one you know but you may not i don't know i'm not gonna keep 
explaining it and going for it because you guys understand what I'm saying. So, um, but yeah, I do feel spirit just has this, just is telling you to open up. I feel like the reason um, spirit is going to have you meet multiple people and everyone isn't going to have to meet multiple people. Again, everything in the reads, um, take what resonates, take what doesn't. So some things are meant to be said for some people and some things are meant to be said for others. Um, but it's all meant to be said. But I feel like spirit is having you meet multiple people because you still have a few lessons that you may need to learn, and you're going to you're going to learn those those small lessons through these different people before you actually meet that right person. So that could be why you, spirit is telling you to continue to protect yourself, stand up for what you believe. If something is off when you're talking to somebody, then it's off. I don't care how good everything else is. If something is not resonating with you and it's off, then it's off, baby block it because you i just saw 1550 there's major change that is here this change this love is coming here for you and it's very strong it's very passionate it's very very beautiful but you may still have a few lessons um that you have to meet before you actually receive um this person okay and then we're ending again with this two of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So again, life is balancing out for you. Congratulations on this relationship. This is absolutely beautiful. Congratulations on your growth and um, you doing the work that you need to do to be able to even receive this type of connection. I am going to leave this read here. If you are interested in a personal read or any type of Reiki services, or even just saying hi to me on my Instagram, you can find the links down below in the description box. I am recording from Raleigh, North Carolina. Comment below where you are watching from. Please subscribe to, or sorry, please thumbs up this video and subscribe to the channel. And until next time, bye.